One of the nice things about the Kiwanis Walleye World event is that you can fish throughout Prince Edward County. So there's lots of bodies of water to fish and you can also weigh your fish in at nine different locations. So you can see on this map here that we have the Belleville and Picta Kiwanis, the Napanee Rod and Gun Club and the Brighton Rotary Club that are servicing all these different areas. Fishermen can fish from shore or from a boat. And the nice thing is that even if they weigh in smaller fish, if they don't have a chance of winning the grand prize, they can go into the dream draw. So these are fish that are between three and six pounds, and then there's a raffle at the end of the event, and hopefully we're going to see some really nice prizes given out. So do you get the fish much when you're guiding? Because a lot of guides, hey, I like that. I saw the splash. I didn't see the fish. Nice eater again. Um, do you get a chance to fish much? Because a lot of guides don't fish when they're guiding with people. It depends on the client. Sometimes they want you to because you get an interactive and you actually show them the technique. Um, so it's based on the client. Good, good. Nice fish. Looks like you're going to be able to use the worm again too. I think so. That's good. That's a nice walleye. Now, we should talk a little bit about the hooks because the hooks you're using are pretty small. Yep. Those look like amogatsus, they nice are. red yep. sharp ones. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys will run harnesses with really big hooks. I like the idea of using smaller hooks because you have less of a chance of getting hung up on yep. the bottom. And uh, you still get really good hookups, kind of like the steelhead theory, you know, mm -hmm. that once they catch, they don't let go. Right. So that's a good eater. That's a good fish. This is about 15, 15, yeah. 16 inches. Yeah, give it a yeah. yeah, Perfect. Bet. We're going to release them again because we're, we're letting all our fish go. You know, the nice thing about the Kiwanis event, it's 100% live release. So whether the guys are fishing from shore or they're fishing from the boat, they got to keep the fish alive. Yep. And as you know, walleye sometimes can be challenging to keep alive, they especially if they're bigger. So you got to keep the water running through. Yeah, good live wells. Here, uh, here's a good chance for us to show them the harness. Now, did you make these up yourself? I do. Good. Yep. So it's a uh, number three size blade yep. or four. We go back and forth with a clevis up on the line with beads and uh, how do you snow. determine how many beads? Because some guys only use one bead. Uh, if you want lots of flash, you go more beads. If you find that fish are active, yep. uh, you don't have to go as, as flashy. Sometimes also if you have a larger spinner, you can go fewer beads because you get the flash from the spinner. Good. Now this feels like fluorocarbon. What pound test is it that? It is. That's uh, 12. Okay, good. Yep. You've got your worm on there. We're just going to look at it. We can mm -hmm. reuse them. Yep. It's good for the environment because the worms are important, you know, for Absolutely birds and all that are. stuff. So you actually let quite a bit of worm hang. Mm -hmm. So you let them work their way up. But we haven't missed a lot of fish. No, they, they actually, you know what, they'll, they'll put that in their mouth and you'll feel it. And sometimes when you start to feel that tug, you let it go back a bit sure, until they take it all it back in. and then you set. Now I noticed you got pretty long leads. We're looking mm -hmm. at almost like three feet. Is yep. that standard? That you is ever pretty go standard. Shorter to keep you, it you do if it's a, it's a short bite or if you want the, uh, the blade to be closer to the bottom. Sure, and sure. the uh, fish are quite uh, hugging bottom. Anyway, you, it's the right setup because we've been getting yeah. lots of fish non stop. Okay. So we're just looking for the bigger one. Yep, Excellent. You bet. Canadian Sport Fishing has been brought to you by Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike, all you need is a Lucky Strike. I'm using the word probably. Tournaments in North America. I hope it goes to a young person. I don't know, maybe go to work at school.